My name is Dirk Hevelin. I'm a professor for marine geology at the MARUM, the Center for Marine Environmental Sciences. And I'm working for almost 10 years now on cold water corals. In contrast to the tropical corals, which are restricted to the sunlit warm waters of the tropic shelves, cold water corals live in depth down to 1,000 or at several hundred meters of depth. And our focus is to study these cold water corals from a geological point of view and trying to understand the forcing factors. The idea of using the submarine remora off the coast of the Provence in southern France was to investigate a submarine canyon. Our daily business looked like in a way that we started with the submarine in the morning to make use of the battery power as long as it was available. Major point also for starting with the submarine in the morning were the weather conditions because we were limited to a very good weather calm sea state to use the submarine. And when the weather conditions were good in the morning then of course we used the possibility and started diving with the submarine. Going down with a submarine when slightly the light is dimming and when the last air bubbles uh, are going up, it's a fascinating feeling. And especially before you go down the first time, you start thinking about might it be dangerous, all this big pressure from the sea and all this glass sphere you're sitting in. But as soon as you are in the water and you're sinking down, it's so fascinating you know, what's to see all down there that you forget about all these thoughts and you're just stunning around and being fascinated. Oui, Remora, Remora de surface bien reçue. Individual dives with the submarine lasted for three to four hours, limited by the battery capacity of the submarine. And we went to different parts of this submarine canyon, and in some places we found driving coral thickets, beautiful deep sea scenery. At other places, although we expected some, we didn't find any corals. And especially when we went to the deepest part of the canyon, there was a strong human impact. Besides the observations, of course, we were also interested in getting this sample material to really have hands-on material to study. And one of the questions that really uh, urges us is how are all the cold water corals we discovered over the last years all along the European margin interlinked or how they are related to each other? Almost nobody is talking about cold water corals. That basically depends on the fact that cold water corals are still in a discovery stage and we just begin to realize that they occur worldwide at almost all continental margins. And in total it seems it's an ecosystem that is comparable in spatial extent but also in its biodiversity to the tropical systems. <laughs> 